coming to you from the RCA Dome in downtown Indianapolis. Both of today's teams are looking for a win and trying to establish momentum going into the stretch run. So thanks for joining us as the Texans square off against the Colts. Teams have taken the field. We're ready for the kickoff. Let's go to the field. Looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. He got all of that one. From the three. Stiff arm there. The Colts will start to drive from the 20. Ball on their own 20. Lines up on the right side with the throw. Incomplete as the defender knocks it away. The little lob doesn't find its intended target. James, the lone setback. Steps up into the pocket. Pressure coming with the pass. It was tipped. Big play chance, but the defender was there to knock it away. This is a team that likes to take shots downfield when they see an opportunity. Passing downfield will open up the running game and passing routes underneath, even if you don't complete the pass. One of those matchups here today, John, a great running team against a defense that's had a lot of trouble stopping yeah. the run. Their front seven needs to get yeah. more aggressive. They need to get the jump on those offensive tackles and force them to get their inside foot back so they can take off in the middle. Gets the call. Great fake. Gets rid of it. Incomplete. Incomplete. Two tip pass. passes in a row. Number 87, the intended receiver on the play. Now here's the punt unit as the defense forces a three and out. Here's the kick. And he signals for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 43-yard line. Indianapolis lines up in a 4-3 it off to the back. Freeney comes up to make the play. Draw play to the halfback. Picks up about four yards. About six to go. Johnson is lined up on the right. Hand off to the tailback. Play action. Big time left. They brought an all-out blitz, John, and took him down for the loss. They get pressure on him from all angles. He didn't have a chance. Third and ten, coming up. The Colts come out in a nickel package. He passed looking for the end zone. He made the count. Touchdown, touchdown, Houston. The receiver got a step on his man and goes all the way. Comes in for the extra point. And it's on its way. The point after is good. They have a one touchdown lead now. 
good job moving the ball the length of the field for the touchdown. Scoring a touchdown not only puts points on the board, it sends a message to the other team that if you execute properly, they won't be able to stop you. And they say 90% of the game is half metal. The Texans are lined up for the kickoff. They'll return this one. From the 14. Slips the tackle. Slips the tackle. The four stays three and out on the last series. Ball on their own 34. Only one man back. Coleman is there on the stop at the 42. Picked up nine on the play. Ball on their own 42. Harrison lines up on the right side. With the throw, the pass falls incomplete. Led him too much. Number 83, the intended receiver on the play. Broken up. Clark was his intended target. Very solid defensive effort to force the three and out. Here's the punt. From the 16. Ball on their own 21. They'll go from the I formation. Hand it off to the back. Doss comes up to make the play. They brought some extra people but couldn't stop him before he got the first. And run blitzing these guys isn't a bad idea because you know they like to run. You got to be sure to bring guys in the right place. If you think they might run to the outside, additional blitzers in the middle isn't going to help you much. Indianapolis using three linebackers. Receives the handoff. Refuses to go down. Thornton with the stop. Running hard, going right through the arm tackles. About a yard to go. Johnson is on the right of the formation. Rowing. Jumps and makes the catch. The catch is Bradford makes a very difficult catch to secure the first down. When you go up like that, coming down with it is usually not much fun, especially when you got guys nearby who are waiting to put a lick on you. Ball on the 42 yard line. He'll pass on first down. Rolling out to his right. Gets rid of it. Nearly intercepted. Gaffney was the intended receiver on that play. Jefferson was there on the coverage. And this is the fifth play of this drive. Set, 
The Colts with a four-man front. Drops back. Going for six. This one falls incomplete. The receiver might have had a step, but the ball sailed. He's got a strong arm, and sometimes he'll let a pass get away from him a little bit. And you'll see him overthrow it just like that one. And this is the sixth play of this drive. They come out in a dime package. Pressure gets the pass off, drops the interception. Trying to get him in stride, but overshoots him. Stanley comes into the game for the punt. Walters looks like he's ready for the return. Here's the kick. And he chooses not to return this one. Ball on their own eight. Come out of the nickel. Looking for room, fakes the handle. Looking for the deep pass down the right side. It's caught. The 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Colts. Okay, this is nice work by both the quarterback and the receiver in this play. Watch it here. He reads the coverage, looks for the best option, and then throws it to him. The kick is up. The, the extra point, point attempt is good. good. The Colts draw even. Not much time taken off the clock with that drive, but then again, it only took one play to score the touchdown. When you think about that drive, one play, one touchdown, it all came down to execution. All 11 guys executed to perfection and allowed them to score on their very first play. Vanderjack will be kicking off. The kick should be returnable. From the five-yard line. The 20. Kick the Texans will start yards. this drive from the 23-yard line. Ball on their own 23. The Colts line up in a 4-3. Hand off to the tailback. Breaks free. Missed tackle. Pushing his way through the would-be tacklers. He picks up solid yardage. Ball on their own 35. Indianapolis comes out in their nickel package. Sanders records the stop. Picked up nine on the play. Second down and short. Indianapolis lines up in a 4-3. With the carry. Doss makes the tackle. He found room off tackle and rumbles forward for the first down. Usually on runs like that to the outside, it's a receiver and a tight end who makes a good block to get you those yards. It's first and ten. Indianapolis goes with a four-man front. 
gives the ball off. Sanders comes up to make the play. Davis takes it up the middle for a yard or two. They have to reach the 41 to convert. The Colts line up in a 4-3. Doss play to the left. Refuses to go down. Doss is there for the tackle. Well, wasn't able to get anything going on that play. At the end of the first quarter, it's not enough. Indianapolis, 7. Houston, 7. And we're ready to start the second quarter. And this is the sixth play of this drop. Ball right around midfield. Johnson lines up on the right side. They give it to the halfback. Nice play fake. Going long to the left. Incomplete. He throws that one deep downfield, but over the head of the receiver. His motion looks so effortless that that talent will go to waste if he can't hit his receiver. So as we get set for the punt, let's take a look at our returner's stats. Stanley will come in now to punt it away. Walters sets up, waiting for the punt. Here's the punt. This one goes out of bounds. Only one man in the backfield. Gets the call. Greenwood records the stop. The defense did a good job stopping the run on that play. Eight to go. Let's get him. James, the yes, lone setback. Blue, 74. And up to the tailback. Davis is the guy who's there to bring him down. Nice tackle by the linebacker. Third and six. Scans the defense from the gun. Drops back. Rowing. And it's caught. Earl comes up to make the play. Through the air they go, and they finally earn a first down. It's first and ten. It's broken up. He got his hand in there to knock it down. Great position and great reaction made that play happen. And this is the fifth play of this drive. Stick off. Stick off. Yo, Harrison lines up on the right side. Red, 74. Stepping up, under pressure, with the pass, and the catch is made. Good job picking up the blitz and picking up a first down. Hey, that was a heck of a call. When I mean, they saw the pressure was coming, they knew right where to go with the ball, and he got it there. Ball on the 43-yard line. Give it to the halfback. Simmons 
takes him down. The safety came up to make the play. And this is the seventh play of this drive. Five yards to go. James, the lone back. Raise a two, raise a two. Three, 74. Get ready, get ready. Huh. My boy up. Huh. Huh. Looking upfield, Evans brings him down. We pick up enough to convert for the first down. Ball on the 31-yard line, and this is the eighth play of this drive. Almost at the two-minute mark now. Houston comes out in their nickel package. Pump fake, sack. He dumps the quarterback for a loss, his first sack. Ball on the 33-yard line, ninth play of this drive. Two-minute warning coming up. Out of the shotgun. Ball on the 33-yard line. And this is the ninth play of this drive. And we've reached the two-minute mark here in the first half. From the gun. Drops back. Pump faking. Rowing. He hits his receiver. Buchanan is there on the stop. And it looks like they're going to go no huddle. Dropping back. Gets the pass off. Sanders brings him down. They pick up 14 yards on third down. The quarterback is calling them back to the line of scrimmage. Drops back, looks to the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Watch this catch by the tight end. I always say the tight end is always more of a threat in the red zone. He's a big target, and his skills sometimes cause matchup problems for the defense. It's up. The, the point the after is good. They've now scored 14 unanswered points. And they're doing a good job executing on both the offensive and the defensive side of the ball right now. I'm thinking they're going to keep this run going. Solid long drive, taking a lot of time off the clock. Yeah, that was some show out there. They're looking good right now. The defense better find a way to plug up those holes. The Colts are set to kick it deep. Good distance. From the one. Kick the offense takes over after yards. they were unable to get any points on their last drive. Well, they don't want to go into the half down by this much. They're going to need some good throws and good clock management here. Ball on their own 20. The Colts come out in a nickel package. With the throw, the pass ball's incomplete. Good call by the defense as they sent the corner on a blitz. He just had too much pressure in his face to see anything, and he threw one out there. Lucky for him, it wasn't picked off. Out of the gun. back throws it the 40 the 40 the 30 the 20 high stepping to the end zone 
Touchdown, Houston. I'll tell you, this is nice work by both the quarterback and the receiver in this play. Watch it here. He reads the coverage, looks for the best option, and then throws it to him. The kick is up. The, the extra point, point attempt is, is good. The Texans have tied it. It didn't take long, but it went a long way and finished in the end zone. And, John, we see it time and time again, big plays leading to touchdowns. Yeah, I mean, they got the ball, drove down the field, and boom. They were in the end zone before the defense knew what hit them. Ready to put this one in the air. Sends it sails. From the seven. The 20. Couldn't stop them from getting into the end zone the last time out. A little over a minute left. From the gun, pass play here on first down, gets rid of it, he hits his receiver, Buchanan comes up to make the play, looks like they'll go with a hurry up here. Indianapolis kills the clock with that timeout, about a minute left. Just about a minute left. Harrison is on the right of the formation. With the pass. And he can't hang on. So they don't get the completion and the defense got a little lucky there. The defense needs to force them to throw underneath by using different coverages so they can't get big chunks of yardage in one or two plays. The Texans come out in a nickel package. Gets his hand on it. The Looks like that may have slipped out of his hand. Number 26 on the cover. Third and long, looking for a great throw to convert on this one. So as they get set to try to convert, here's what both teams have done on third down. Manning back in the shotgun. Pressure coming, gets rid of it, and this pass is complete. The Colts get the first down again here to be faced with third and a mile for the second time on this drive. John, they're trying to determine exactly where they'll spot the ball. I'll tell you what, unless they're seeing something that we're not seeing, I don't think they're going to overturn this one. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. And this is the fifth play of this drop. From the gun. Dropping back. Throws it. Ooh, nearly picked off. Coleman was there on the cover. I'll tell you, we've had a close first half, and it should be the same for the second. 
and that's why it would be big if they could get a field goal here. The way this thing is going, that could be the margin of victory. Houston comes out in their nickel package. Gets the pass off. Wayne was the one they were trying to get the ball to. The intended receiver on the play. They might just clear some place for their back and swing it out to him and see if he can make something happen. And this is the seventh play of this drive. Rolls right with the pass. Almost picked off. Buchanan had the coverage on the play. Smith will do his best to get this one inside their five. Here's the punt. Fair catch. Chances are they'll throw on this first down play as they try to break the tie before the half. So they have first and ten here. Johnson is lined up on the left. Miller, the man in motion. Going to the air on first down. Closing in. Good pass rush that time, John. They brought everyone on the blitz, and he went down hard. That's one of those cases where they have more rushers than you have blockers. When you get the blitz coming, you have to go to your hot receiver in that situation. Now in second and long after the sack. Indianapolis using three linebackers. Hand it off to the fullback. Jefferson is there on the stop. At halftime, Indianapolis 14. Houston 14. Just about set for the kickoff. Nice tip. Plenty of distance. This one is taken by Moses. Kick the Colts for yard in this one. Close game. It's first and ten. Only one man back. Hand it off. Freeman records the tackle. Davis takes advantage of a little daylight. Picks up three yards. Second and seven coming up here. What's up? Only one man in the backfield. Still running. Stiff arm keeps him at bay. This is tough running here. Let's watch him as he gets through right here. And he breaks a tackle and keeps moving forward. I'll tell you, this guy's hard to bring down. the stop. The corner was able to wrap him up. Second and five. Indianapolis using three linebackers. Came off to the tailback. 
Williams comes up to make the play. The defensive tackle surged through the line to bring the runner down. So they need about three here. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. Not getting the first down, that will probably bring out the punter. Stanley is back to punt. Here's the kick. Andy signals for the fair catch. his receiver. Coleman brings him down. And again, he demonstrates his great hand. You know, when a quarterback has a guy like this who can catch about any ball he throws, he can become kind of a security blanket. When he gets in trouble, or he starts feeling pressure, he can look in his direction because he has so much confidence in him. Harrison is lined up on the right. Face. Gets the pass off. Buchanan is there for the tackle. Manning continues to pass effectively and is now thrown for over 200 yards. First and ten. Harrison lines up on the right side. Breaks the play up in the backfield. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Ball on their own 41. Houston comes out in their nickel package. with the pass, and it's intercepted. The defender is there to make the play. After the defense gets the takeaway, they're now set to go at the 44-yard line. Indianapolis lines up in a 4-3. Thornton stops him. Davis gets the call on the counter, short gain about a yard. They have to get the ball inside the 34 yard line to convert for a first down. Indianapolis goes with a four man front. Missed tackle. Sanders comes up to make the play at the 33 yard line. Good run there to move the chains. And what happened there was the defense didn't wrap up well. They just can't try and knock the guy out. They have to wrap when they tackle. It's first and ten. Come on now. Back to the back. The backs are lined up in an eye. Thornton records the tackle. Davis is the injured player on the field. He'll be coming out for this next play, so we'll find out what the story is. to get to the 23 to convert for the first.
looking upfield. Sanders comes up to make the play. Well, rumbles forward for a gain of four. They're in field goal range. Johnson lines up on the left side. Great fake. Gets the pass off. Almost intercepted. So the pass falls incomplete in the end zone. It's up. The kick sails through the uprights. The Texans are now leading here in the second half. They don't pick up very much yardage on that drive, but they do walk away with three points. Brown comes in to kick off. Decent kick. We should have a return. From the six-yard line. Defense intercepted a pass their last time out. Dominic Davis is back in there after getting taken out with an injury earlier. Harrison is on the right of the formation. With the pass, nearly intercepted. Earl had the coverage on the play. Yo, Harrison dude, lines dude. up on the right side. This pass is incomplete. John is able to tip it away again. The intended receiver on the play. And here's what they've been able to do so far on third down. Houston comes out in their nickel package. Throws it, makes the adjustment. Buchanan comes up to make the play at the 30-yard line. <laughs> Nothing happening on that drive, and they'll punt it away. Just a field goal separates these two teams as we move to the fourth quarter with the score. Houston, 17. Indianapolis, 14. The teams are set for the fourth quarter of play. Here's the punt. He signals for a fair catch. Sure catch made at the 35 yard line. Indianapolis comes out in a 4-3. Gets the pass off, and this pass is completed. Morris is there on the stop. Good run after the catch, John. That's what can happen if the pass is on time and on target. Second and long coming up here. Johnson is on the right of the formation. Carr sends a man in motion. 
Throws it. The defender's got it. The 40. Carr throws that one right to the defense, John. Yeah, he thought he had his man. But the defender was able to make that one move to get position, and it was over. The offense gets ready to go following the interception. Harrison lines up on the right side. Looking upfield with the pass. The 10. Greenwood comes up to make the play. This is what they have to do. Keep making completions down the field and move the chain. Watch this one. He knows he's got to get the first, and he picks the right guy to throw it to. Stepping up, spins away. Payne explodes across the line of the snap and then makes his way to the quarterback. Yeah, you know, that's an important quality to have if you're going to excel as a pass rusher. Explosive. It's second and goal at the 11. Harrison is lined up on the right. Pressure throwing. And the catch is made. Manning completes the pass for a five-yard gain on second down. Six yards to go for a touchdown. Lucy, Lucy. Harrison lines up on the right side. They can take the lead here. Makes the catch. This is good communication between the quarterback and his receiver to keep the chains moving. They know where the first down marker is, and they recognize the type of coverage the defense is playing. The ball is there, and so is the catch. It's on its way. The point after is good. The Colts are holding on to a slim lead. And that touchdown here in the fourth quarter, John, puts them ahead. That's right. Now that they've got some momentum, they need to get their defense to hold on to it for them. Vanderjack looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. Nice distance. From the one. The defense intercepted a pass their last time out. It's first and ten. The Colts line up in a 4-3. Hand off to the tailback. Williams is there on the stop at the 27-yard line. Davis with a nice burst through the middle that time. Five-yard pickup. Second and four coming up here. The backs are lined up in an eye. Hand it off. Barrett is there for the tackle at the 26. Nothing doing that time, John, as the linebacker gets there quickly. He's one of those guys who's a sure tackler. You'll move up and play physically at the line, come on a blitz, and play the run just about as well as anyone on the defense. Johnson lines up on the right side, gets the pass off, drops the interception. Gaffney was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Jefferson had the coverage on the play. Stanley 
is ready to pump this one away. Here's the kick. From the 32-yard line. in the open field by Evans. Fighting for yardage that time, he's able to reel off a nice game. <laughs> Two minutes to go. is on the right of the formation. Steps up into the pocket. He goes down. As an offensive lineman, you got to be aware of him coming around to make that play. Because if he gets by you, he's most likely going to get the quarterback. Ball at about midfield. Only one man yeah. back. Under pressure. Gets rid of it. And he hits his target. A gain of 24 yards that time. On second down. Fifth play of this drive within scoring distance. Yo. Only one man in the backfield. Pressure coming. Rowing. Broken up. We're going the run as they throw here in the fourth quarter, despite the fact they're leading. Incomplete passes are never going to put a team away for you. You got to trust your running game to keep the chains moving when you have the lead late in the game. And this is the sixth play of this drive. The goal from the I formation. Hand it off. The back breaking free. Touchdown, Colts. for the extra point the kick is up the extra point attempt is good taking the lead by 11 now after scoring the touchdown and that drive John is capped off with the touchdown the thing was they looked methodical in their approach they were calm executed well and seemed very much in control Vanderjack will be kicking off. 
He'll return this one. From the five. Still running. Keeps his feet low. Force the three and out on the offense's last possession. First down may be where they try something towards the end zone, since they'll have three more downs to work with after that. So they have first and ten here. Davis in the backfield. Pass play here on first down. Gets rid of it. Jefferson is there on the stop. They'll head right back to the line. Closing in with the throw. June is there for the tackle. The offense is going to hurry things up here. Drops back. Pressure with the pass. Gets his hand on it. That's just great positioning by the defender. He has his eyes in the backfield the whole time, and he was right there to break the play up. The defense should focus on keeping the receiver from getting to the sideline, because as soon as he catches the ball, that's where he's going to want to go with it. Johnson lines up on the right side. Miller in motion. Throwing. And they have to go to the air because they need big plays fast. That's right. You got to have composure in these situations. Find your receivers who can pick up yardage after the catch. But most importantly, you have to keep the chains moving. Just over a minute still to go. The Colts come out in a nickel pack. Gets the pass off. Jumps up and he has it. Thornton records the tackle. He's rushing the offense back to the line. Dropping back. Under pressure. Wraps him up and brings him down. Nowhere to throw at that team. Nowhere to run either. He has to do a better job reading the defense before the snap and getting the ball out to his check down receiver before the rush gets in. They need to get the ball inside the 26-yard line to convert for the first down. The offense has had trouble moving the sticks on third down so far. Drops back, gets rid of it, and he hits his target. He's trying to get them back to the line. Pressure coming, rolling. He goes up and grabs it. Let's see how this defense handles the no huddle. He'll stop the clock with a spike. They're going to need to pass here, and they're not worried about first downs anymore. They need big gains and a quick score. It's second and goal at the eight. The Colts come out in a nickel package. Closing in, incomplete pass. No choice here, John. They just have to keep throwing. Yeah, they do. Running the ball isn't going to do a whole lot of good now. It's third and goal at the eight-yard line. The defense lines up in the nickel. Bruner, the motion man. Floats one into the end zone. Ooh, nearly picked off. Time is working against them. Yeah, I'm thinking they're going to keep going to the air, but it might be a little too late. As expected, they'll go for it here. Dropping back. Throws to the end zone. Watch it here. This is one heck of a play by the defender on fourth down. He gets up there, and he deflects the ball to save a big play. They've got the lead in the ball, 
So they should just be calling dive plays to run out the clock. Let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. They're just trying to use up as much time as they can and pick up the win. So this could be the last play of the game. Harrison is on the right of the formation. yard line. So this could be the last play of the game. So they'll just wind the clock down and get out of here with a win. We've come to the end of this one and the score is 28-17. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports.